Hello friends. I've already shown you how to get started drawing with Tahoma 2D, but let me save you some time now by showing you different ways to create and reuse your drawings. So I've got a new project and scene here. And I've previously shown you how you can create a new drawing level with one drawing already created in it by clicking one of the three buttons here for creating a new drawing level. So you simply hit the button, change the name for the level if you really want to, change the size of the drawing and then click OK. And then you'll get a new layer with a single drawing in created for that drawing level. But if you already know how many drawings you need, or just that you need more than one drawing, you can create them initially from that dialog. So if you click the button to create a new drawing level, then here at the top, you can see you've got an option of a from and to, and that is for creating multiple drawings and how to number them. So you might choose to create a drawing number from drawing number 10 to drawing number 15, for instance, and then press OK. And now we have six drawings created with drawing numbers 10 to 15. Now, ordinarily, you'd want to start from drawing number one, but it's nice to know the option is there. And then you can simply go ahead and work on your drawings without worrying about creating a new drawing. And I've already shown you that once you've created some drawings, you can simply go to the next blank space. And with the option here on the left turned on for auto creation, you can then simply start drawing and it creates a new drawing. Or if you go to a blank frame, you can press the keyboard shortcut Alt and D to create a blank drawing before you start drawing. And if you click and drag over several frames and then press Alt D, it'll create blank drawings in all of those frames. So again, if you know how many drawings you might want, you can create all of them at once. So that's creating blank drawings, but what about reusing drawings? Well, there's a couple of different ways to reuse a drawing. So as I've showed you previously, you can copy a drawing by simply inserting a blank column, right clicking on a drawing and choosing copy cells, then move to the new column and paste the drawing wherever you like. And because it is the same drawing, it's in exactly the same location. So we can use the animate tool to move the drawing or to scale him to resize him down or to use any of the other animate options. And don't forget, you don't have to copy just one drawing at a time. You can copy the entire column by clicking on the column header first and then pressing Control C or right clicking and choosing copy column and then paste the column either above or below. And now you've got a copy of all of the same drawings. And again, you can use the animate tool to move them, resize, rotate or shear them. And don't forget, this will be exactly the same drawing. So if I edit the drawing on one of the drawings, it'll automatically change on the other because it is still the same drawing. So what if you want to take a copy of a drawing, but then edit the copy? Well, for that, we wouldn't use copy and paste. We'd duplicate the drawing. So if I hide that other column, and as with everything in Tahoma 2D, there's a few ways to do this. The first one is to simply go to the next frame and then you can right click and choose duplicate drawing or you could just select in the frame and press D. 
And you'll notice that creates a drawing called number two. So it is actually a different drawing. So you've got drawing number one in frame one and drawing two in frame two. And do notice that over here at the right hand side in the level strip, there's two drawings shown in the level. And now if I edit drawing two, it doesn't change drawing one. So on frame one, we've got the original drawing and frame two, we've got the new drawing. So if you're only changing part of your drawing, this is a really quick way to duplicate it so you have a unique drawing that you can change. And you don't have to do this just in the same layer or just in the next frame. You can also select on the drawing, back to drawing number one, right click and then copy the cell. And if I show this second column here, I can then move to a different column or a different layer, right click, and as well as having the option to paste an exact copy of the same drawing inside this flyout called paste special we've got the option paste as a copy which is actually pasting a duplicate drawing so selecting that it creates a duplicate copy of the drawing number two and it's renumbered the previous drawing to number three so notice we've now got three drawings in the level strip and this new drawing is here resized and rotated slightly so again, if I grab the eraser, let's close his eyes. So we can see a difference between the drawings. Like that. So there's drawing number two. Drawing number one has his eyes open with a wrinkly mouth. And drawing number three has the smile. So again, just copy the first drawing with copy cells and then move to another cell in the same or a different column and choose the option from the paste special, which is paste as a copy. And it'll create a new drawing, and if necessary, shuffle the drawing numbers of the other drawings. And that's fine for duplicating one drawing at a time, but if you've got a lot of drawings that you want duplicated, you can do so using the clone option. On the timeline, you select the first drawing, hold shift, and then select through to the last. So I've got three separate drawings selected here, drawings one, two, and four. And then from the cells menu at the bottom, I can choose clone cells. And this will create a new level with only those highlighted cells in. So although level A has four drawings, I've only highlighted three drawings. And now I can give this a unique name. So I'll call this chap and then press okay. So this has now created a new level created a new layer and laid out the frames in exactly the same order and timing as where I cloned them from. But you'll notice as I select on any of the chap drawings, there's only three drawings in this level, drawings number one, two, and four. Whereas if I go to level A, you'll see there's one, two, three, and four, but I only selected drawings one, two, and four when I cloned them. So this is a great way to take just a few drawings from one level and create a duplicate level with only those drawings in it. That's a few simple ways to create, copy and clone drawings. Do let me know in the comments what your favourite method is or if you've got any other methods and how will you use the cloning and copying of drawings. Do let me know. So that's a few ways to save time creating and reusing your drawings. But how can you use these techniques with the two animation principles of straight ahead and pose to pose drawing? Well, that's what we'll look at next time. And that's a guarantee.